Diary, hello. It is Saturday, July 20th, 24th, and you're looking at a Home Assistant update screen. Now, if you don't know, Home Assistant is a fantastically capable, but rather finickety, um, smart home product. And um, upgrades are always uh, done with a little bit of trepidation. I have backed up the system several times, and it seems to have just finished. So it's actually going from 2023 to 2024, so a massive upgrade, because we've not upgraded for a long time. But the uh, point of this video is not just one upgrade. We're, up, not, we're upgrading every single pie in the household, and we're also changing the power supply. So let's just focus in on, on the new power supply, and I'll try and show you what I mean. So, here's the switching power supply that has come from America via Amazon UK. And you see a number of fly leads also available from Amazon UK with USB-C outlets. Now, the situation is that modern Raspberry Pis, especially the Pi 5, are rather difficult to power. In fact, when you buy a Pi 5, um, if you just factor in the cost of the Pi without the additional components, you think you're getting quite a, a, a miraculously good deal, but it's not, but not so fast. Um, for us, we use Pi 5s now in the household and we're upgrading from Pi 4 Bs, Bs as we go along, um, as the need arises. So, for example, this VPN server is a Pi 5, and um, the Pi 5 has a specially high um, amperage requirements at 5 volts, and it's so high, it's not even covered by the PD standard. Um, so, if you've got a PD charger, which a regular PD charger, and you plug that into a Pi 5, it can't negotiate the right current. Um, as a consequence, we found that when we moved from 4Bs to 5s, um, important things like our websites started falling down. Not immediately, but let's say after one or two days, the web server or the whole machine would just crash. So, we do power the Pi 5s of our a, a brick, which is supposed to be able to deliver 100 watts um, at 5 volts. This gadget is supposed to be able to deliver t more than 200 watts at 5 volts. So the idea is we're going to switch over to this. So machine by machine, I'm doing a backup, and I'm doing an upgrade, I'm doing a shutdown, and then these machines are dr drifting into uh, this study area where we are doing a full power test. So eventually all the pies will be powered by here. And if that goes well, the next stage is to insert this power supply into the, uh, uh, well, I, I would, I'd like to call it the machine room, but it's really just a cupboard. Um, take out the old 100 watt power supply, which is clearly not doing its job, and, uh, and set everything up. Of course, this is, this is powered via a UPS, so this is why I've got to shut everything down cleanly, take off the existing power supply, which is by the UPS, plug that into the uh, uninterruptible power supply, and then restart every Pi. Now, I'm, I'm midway through the, uh, the, the infamously traumatic home assistant upgrade. Um, we don't use home assistant that much in the house. We use something else called Demotic and Samsung Smart Things. So if Home Assistant doesn't work, it's not a major, major disaster. But for example, if the pie hole, which is here and running, doesn't work, that would be a major disaster because that's providing all our DNS and DNS blocking. So that's it, we're, we're midway through. I'm gonna keep going and hopefully there'll be a happy outcome. Thanks for watching.